Hello everybody, Tactive here. Today I'm going to be making a tutorial on how to make a redstone drum machine. The design that I'm going to be showing you guys how to make is pretty simple, but it also allows you to customize it and add whatever you want onto it. Now I'm going to show you guys how. So uh, before I get started on showing you how to build one, let's uh, take a look at what the finished product will be. With all of these drum machines, they uh, run on a redstone clock which is basically just something that generates a uh, steady redstone pulse. So if you look at this right here, here, I'll get it started. You can see the redstone's just going in a circle, and now where the pulse is going to come out is right here. So every time this flashes on, it's just going to send a pulse down this line, and that's what's going to power it. So, let's see. This is the main power switch. I turn that on. It moves the piston, so it allows the uh, redstone pulse to go all the way down the line. And then now, when I move these pistons, it's going to allow the redstone to travel up into the note blocks, which will be giving us drum noises. So uh, let's start out with some bass. When it first turns on, you heard it stutter for a little bit. It's because the pulse isn't quite uniform, but after it goes through one rotation, it uh, will be back on track. All right, so let's add some snare. There we go. And see, now it's lined up. And then you can add uh, some clicking that would be kind of like a hi-hat on a drum set, but unfortunately there are no cymbals in the note blocks. And then you can also like change up the patterns and you can really do just like anything you really want. And I'm going to be showing you how to do that. So. Uh, Let's get this started. Um, let's turn this off. Okay, so you're gonna need a little bit of room, not quite so much, but first things first, we need to make the clock that's going to power the uh, the drum machine. So you're gonna start out with um, two lines of three redstone, and then you gotta put down repeaters and put them at the full length, the 4.4 second distance and two of those in a row at the max amount of time and then it's good to have a switch right next to it because then you just really quickly flip the switch on and off to get it started um, next we're going to uh, dig a hole right here we're going to throw down a sticky piston and attached to the sticky piston is going to be a block and we're going to run the redstone through there and that's so that when this piston is activated it will um, shut off the drum machine so right here we're going to stick a switch and we'll put a sign power switch all right let's keep moving down all right let's see oh no i wanted the gap to be that big okay so next one going to uh, put a sticky piston that would sit, oh, oh, that's the wrong spot, a sticky piston facing the redstone with a, um, that's two blocks away, and the idea is you want it so that when the piston extends, the block will be cutting off the redstone signal because there's going to be redstone going up and over. So that will look like this, and you can see how the redstone's going over the block when I flip the switch on it cuts it off and no more redstone going over the block. So now is where we start doing the wiring. Um, with the note blocks you can change their sound based on the block that they're sitting on. So glass is the ticking noise. So right now I'm just really quickly because we're going to have eight ticks total, or clicks rather. on top of those. And now uh, we're going to use redstone repeaters to uh, space out the clicks, because if I were to uh, just connect the line straight down, they would all sound at the same time. And that's not very interesting. So. To have them spaced out correctly, and just for like a straight solid, just constant clicking, we're gonna do a gap of two, or 
we're going to put all of the redstone repeaters with like the 0.2 second delay. And it gives you a nice slow sound rather than just a really rapid pulsing of these. But so that we don't have to listen to that as I build other stuff, we're going to turn this off. Okay, next one. We're going to do the same thing with the piston. So yeah, gap of two, throw on the sticky piston, put a block on it, and put a switch over here, controls it. Okay, now this one is going to be the base, and with the note blocks, when you have a note block on top of stone, it creates a low bass noise, like a bass drum. Alright, so that one is going to sound on the first one, or first, like, beat of the first measure, and we want the second bass drum to go off on the first beat of the second measure. Oh, see, I forgot to put the uh, stone underneath, so it sounded like a piano. And to make it interesting, we're also going to have the bass drum go one more time on the, um, the second beat of the second measure. Nope, I don't think that's right. There we go. So... Now let's add some snare. Again, we're going to be doing the same thing with the blocks. And we want the uh, snare to sound on the third beat of the first measure and the third beat of the second measure. And for the snare sound, we put the note block on sand. drum beat right there and that's basically like the uh the main principle of building a drum machine so now you know how to uh, build it and how to space it i'll stop and let you look at how these uh redstone repeaters are spaced out because i kind of stopped explaining it halfway through and i apologize for that but on the bass ones it goes directly to the bass then you've got two repeaters at the full like duration set up then another bass, and then a repeater with a 0.2 second delay leading to another bass. And with the snare, you have a, a 0.4 second delay, then you have the snare, and then you have two more of the repeaters at the 0.4 second delay, and then another snare. So, um, that's all nice and good, but let's say you want to add another one of your own that can be toggled on and off. Now, it becomes an issue when you're trying to build this because, as you can see, Redstone doesn't go forever. Now, and with this, you could add one more right here, but really quickly, I wanna show you guys before we're done how you could add one more. Say, like, you wanted to add two more and your uh, redstone doesn't go far enough. So what you can do to extend the signal and keep the pulse constant is you just add four of these redstone repeaters. And you have it loop around back. And now if you watch the flashing, these two turn on at the same time. So you could just continue on from here and say, like what you want. Did I do it? Oh, I did that wrong. I'm just gonna do this really quickly. Um, say you want to add a different clicking pattern. So 
you've got all your note blocks on the glass. And then basically, if you want to try to like do a different clicking pattern, you can just play with the um, the timing on the redstone repeaters. So we'll do two on this one, then one, four on this one, two on this one. And I think it would sound right if we added just one more. Actually, I think that might be one beat too many. Um, so let's count. So we've got two, three, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen. Oh, nope, that should be all right. So let's hear how that one sounds with the, um, the bass in the snare. All right, yeah, not very good. Um, I mean, it's fine as far as stuff goes, but it doesn't really make a cool drum beat. Um, so that's something that you play around with, and after a little bit of fine-tuning, you can come up with a cool beat. Or if you're not so good, you can just use this simple one right here. But anyway, that is how you make a simple drum machine. Um, just remember when you're playing around with the redstone repeaters, each little tick on them, so like one of them in this position, that's a delay of 0.1 second. Oops, that's a delay of 0.2. That's a delay of 0.3. That's a delay of 0.4. When you're using this clock that I showed you with the um, two redstone repeaters set up at 0.4 on each side of like the circle, you um, you don't want the time of the delay to ever exceed 15. 15 is the greatest because if you make it 16, that makes it so that your last pulse on 16 will be the same as this one over here. Alright, well, that's everything I have for the uh, simple drum machine. Hopefully you guys get it to work. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to uh, leave them for me below. And uh, click the like button and subscribe if you enjoyed what you saw. Thanks.